Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. Why are we looking at this screen? Well, as I was alt-tapping and renaming the DOSBox videos to get them ready for this, research was complete, because time still continues of course. So we have completed the ultimate threat. 65 million years ago apparently, a vast colony ship was sent to the Earth from a distant alien world. As the enormous craft approached the infant planet, a massive and violent solar flare caused the navigation system's failure. Crippled and failing, the vast bulk plummeted through the stratosphere to emerge into the uh, Cretaceous seas. On the Earth, on the Earth, innumerable species of life strain, strain their gazes skywards as their nemeses ploughed into the planet. A vast cloud of dust clothed the atmosphere, and as the land cooled, so the dominant life, the mighty dinosaurs, perished. But the 4 billion, 400 billion tons of Teleth was not destroyed in the impact. Sophisticated supercomputers initiated a cryogenic sleep cycle for the creatures deep in its holds. As the aeons passed, the computers woke parties of aliens to attempt communication with their stellar cousins. All in vain, for the core of the alien power slept on. Let's research, shall we? Magnetic iron armor. Let's keep at it. Keep it up. This will be very handy. Then we'll go for the other commander. Because we now know about the ultimate threat. Yes. And we're on our way, as you can see. Um, obviously, this is just a story, but I do like how they try to tie in evolution and the comet and all that. But anyway, attacking alien colony for 15. Again. Oh, I know. Well, I won't bore you of the, um, the equipping stage, so when we come back, more XCOM. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM. Um, I realised just now that I actually didn't need to say all of that because we we're still halfway through recording, but you got it for free! Ah, uh, we're just poking our head out of our tank, seeing what we can find. The door is weirdly over there. Oh, and over there of course. Right, I've orientated myself now. Okay, well we have the Trident and Ditsy Do. Ditsy Do is our Disruptor Pulse Launcher launcher today. Can't actually handle the weight, unfortunately. But well, we can handle that. The Battle Clam now exits the Triton. Readying her chemical flare, the Battle Clam is ready for all sorts of action. Such as that Tassoth. We have a person who's skilled in the handling of Tassoths, Tooth and Claw. Thank you, Tooth and Claw, to Soft Soldier. You can see that jellyfish up there, but is anyone else around you? Apparently not. Could you please take one step inside? Now I want you to launch your torpedo upon yourself. You didn't actually die. It's different. It's different. But it was expressive, and that's what counts. Tosofts, they don't die in a single Disruptor Pulse Launcher attack. Muir is the other Disruptor Pulse Launcher man, but he's at the back. That's okay. The underwater cow shall now venture forth. Can spot the enemy uh, jellyfish, so we'll kill it. It's a good shot, but it didn't actually kill the enemy. Bean, however. Bean is a different matter altogether. Bean is able to provide a powerful attack that kills any alien. And hits walls, but it's important and significant. <laughs> We've had it such a great start, but so far no one's died. Presnick can't even handle the weight of his own machine. Attack! Oh, I love that. Anyway, oh, new mail has arrived. It's like a message from the mothership. Anyway, I don't want to have any more people out this turn, but it is good to have the person that we have got already, the soft soldier, blowing holes and things. It's a good start to XCOM. Bane is already under molecular control attack attempts. The jellyfish moves. It doesn't seem to do much else. Bane still under molecular control attack attempts. Don't touch the bean. Bean's panicked. That's not a good look, Bean. Not a good look. Well, the underwater cow shall now poise herself. Killing a jellyfish. And then not killing anything else. But we do have the Battle Clam, and the Battle Clam wants to kill things as well. 
but it didn't really do that good job, so we'll just ignore it. What we will do though is have Tooth and Claw molecular control him again. In play control successful. What's over here? Yeah, drop that. Because they're good to soft soldier. Let's just, just, just move mosey on over there. Now you're all pointless. Pointless to soft. Good to soft. Okay, what's over here? Sea Lankan tank. Nothing of interest. Nothing. Okay. Now we need to do something important. And that's called opening the door. Good job, 2 Spider 2002. We'll also have the Trident venture forth from the XCOM sub. So far, so good. I wish the Trident to throw her chemical flare over here. That's a good job, Trident. Now, we can have Miora stand here, at the ready to release Disruptor Pulse Launcher torpedoes. And this he do, she'll now launch her torpedo. Hmm, it's a good torpedo. Next turn we'll be able to provide additional death to our enemies. Let's end turn. Brain Sucker got it. There you go. There's a Tassoff in there. That Tassoff could do a bit of molecular control. It's good to know Brain Sucker's in the midst. Brain Sucker will need death in a big way. Death. Turn 3. We have Bean back with us. She's actually composed to sufficient morale to allow us to rely upon her again. The underwater cow chooses this particular moment, it's an Asian cow, to throw her grenade here. That's a good throw. We'll also have the Sea Lankans tank enter and notice this to soft there and then get out of the way. Then we'll have to tooth and claw, molecular control it as well. Plan control successful. What's over there? Not much apparently, not much at all. I do value my tank, I don't want to see it die, especially with full complement of ammunition. Oh, we see another enemy. That will be handy in the future. For now, however, we'll just launch a torpedo into ourselves. Good job, to Tassoth. Speaking of which, let's keep the good times rolling. What about Nala Tassoth? In plan control successful. I enjoyed that to Tassoth. He was also going to enjoy himself too. We'll keep him where he is, for now. I will blow open the door. Actually, wait. We'll use him to destroy his friends. By like so. We'll into the hole and then just find a target. That's good. Good job to soft soldier. And you spotted a brain sucker. Even better. You'll probably get killed by it. <laughs> it also means we should probably throw a grenade over there. The Trident, prepare a grenade. Lovingly so. Thank you, Trident. And throw it, throw it over here, please. That was a great throw. Well, we didn't get the other brain sucker, but we got one of them. That's, that's good. It's an improvement. Jellyfish? Jellyfish? More molecular control for Bean. Bean's panicked. Poor Bean. The battle clan opening the door for more disruptor pulse launcher punishment. Let's make it happen, shall we? Miura, launch a torpedo. We need to ruin their morale for good. All the psychers up here have to die. More males arrive. Good job, Miura. Didsy do. Reload your Disruptor Pulse Launcher and fire next turn. Thank you, Didsy do. We have spotted an enemy. Is an enemy worth killing? Or we could just ignore it and molecular control it instead. Let's do that, shall we? Oh, it didn't do it the first shot. Didn't do the second shot either. How disappointing. Keep shooting it. Good, you made it angry. Okay, um, Trident's out of grenades, Underwater Cow's out of grenades, Spider Zero, oh, we'll just leave it. What 
we'll do is we'll call it a video, and when we come back we'll continue to play XCOM, Terror from the Deep.